What three baits should you use in the month of October? That's what we're going to talk about right now. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, comment below and tell me that you subbed. I'd like to say hello and welcome you to the team. But we need to talk about October because this is a time you just need to throw the whole kitchen sink at them. About to get wet. <laughs> it's October. And this is a time where it's all about reaction bites. Today we're going to talk about some bigger baits and some different ways of fishing them. Different obstacles that you might have. Up north, it is getting cold. The, the transition to fall is happening. Down here, we're seeing a little bit cooler weather. But up north, you're really seeing a difference in temperature during the day and at night. And that makes a big difference in what you should be doing to catch more fish. In October, it's really important to know your surroundings. You need to buckle down. This is kind of a good month to just go out and try new things. You can try most, you can try almost anything right now. This is a time when the bass are actively feeding all the time. They're going to get in shallow. They're going to be looking for schools of shad. They're also going to school up themselves. So you need to have the right baits on and the right action of bait on to get to catch more fish. Like I said, the bass are feeding on anything and everything right now. So a reaction strike bite, a reaction strike bait is very important. It's not like you can't catch them if you're finesse fishing. You will, but right now you need to target moving baits, fast moving aggressive baits, because that's what they're, that's what the bass are targeting. So while I know people don't like it, like to say match the hatch, we're not matching the exact size. We're gonna try to match the action of the bait and we will get more fish. But I will say, if you're going to go finesse fishing and you're using a jig or a drop shot or a, a worm, do yourself a favor. Make as much contact with the bottom as possible. You want, you want to bounce that bait off the bottom of the seafloor as much as possible. That isn't one of the baits I'm going to be talking about much today because I want to talk about things that really I don't get to use until the fall transition. And baits that you don't really get to use in the fall transition. And while I'm not going to be saying specific brands or stuff like that, I'm trying to tell you the kind of baits I think you should go out and well, either try or buy or whatever it is. I'm not here to, to push one product. So you're going to hear some names of some products that you might not even be able to get anymore, but they're fish catching baits, but you can get baits that are similar to them and they're going to help you catch more fish. One of the things in October that you need to do and remember is not get stuck in your same ways. You've been fishing all summer and you now have a pattern of where those fish are. You need to not think about that. You need to let that go. As hard as it is to make change or have a change, you need to make a change in October because the fish are starting to school. The days are shorter. The nights are colder. Those fish are starting to, to get together. You know, it isn't too many months more before they start doing their thing. So, but right now, all they're doing is actively feeding. We want to target that. Don't be stubborn. Think about using some new baits. Think about what you can do differently to catch fish by looking for a little bit of grass, bumping it on the bottom if you have a, a deep diving crankbait. All those, there's little things that make good anglers go to that next level. So my first bait is a no-brainer. It's a spinnerbait. You know, some of them have, I haven't used this one, some of them have that stinger trailer. This is a smaller one. I might use a little bit bigger one. But a, a spinnerbait is a great bait because it mimics, it has a little bit of flash and it may, mimics a shad. Ba bass are going to be targeting shad from up north to all the way down south. And that bait not only leaves a good vibration in the water for you, puts out flash, but bass eat it all the time. Now you can use that, that bait can be used pretty much year round, but in October, we're seeing that the bass actively targeting shad. So why not do something to make ourselves look as much shad-ish as possible? So my first bait is a spinner bait. So my second bait's gonna be a little bit confusing. 
they're both from the same brand but uh, both have do something that I really like to start off with I'm using a dart spin now this is one of the prototypes and I apologize but I have some of the original ones but to start off with I'm gonna start off throwing this white one and making it as weedless as possible as you can see there when it bites hook exposes but also the great thing about this is that it's that elastec not elastec it's a super stretchy soft tough from from uh, a band of anglers and hyper elastics and I like this bait because first off I can make it so it is weedless I want to run through the weeds I want that bait to go through the weeds as much as much as possible I'm gonna start off by throwing something that color something a little bit brighter and then I'm gonna switch if I'm not having as much luck I'm gonna to switch to something that's a little more neutral silverish and then of course if it all else fails I'm going back to a gold type bait and that brings me to this this isn't this is number two but this is also another another bait I'm gonna throw right now and here's why this bait comes pre-rigged and it has something that I really really like well I like a lot of things about it first I like that it's weedless it has that giant tail this bait you can just throw out there this is the curly min from hyperlastics you can throw this out there it's gonna get deep and you can just wind it in as fast as possible and that tail is going crazy on you but also as it comes towards you it has a slight whoa slight body roll so it rolls like this as it comes towards you this is a bait that we've done I've done really well with with if I'm going if I'm fishing from the shoreline because I can make it so it's weedless but also if I'm in a boat a lot of times I will throw this out and have it cast and just as I'm going from one spot to the other with a trolling motor or whatever or drifting and just letting this sit on the bottom and bounce off the bottom as you're just slowly drifting or slowly moving with your trolling motor and you get tons of tons of bites with it it's again super stretchy so you don't have to worry about it and one bait will last you literally years in some cases now you can't put them with other plastics but that's just one of the things and again it's just a perfect bait for right now that one is the hyperlastix curly min and those are kind of my number two grouped in together baits the next one is one that I'm not very confident in but I'm learning how much I love it every day and it's giant swim baits jointed swim baits such as like a glide bait I have a glide bait right here from uh, Thunderhawk lures the cha-cha glide now I know I know I know people are going but those baits those glide baits are so expensive I know I agree with you you can get this cha-cha glide right now I think at Thunderhawk lures right there I think this one's probably I don't even know how many how much it is it might be 12 or 13 dollars but there's a code to to save 30 percent so you can get this great action wide action but in October I want baits that have a lot of action I want to see them move I want to see them just run fast and scurry towards it this one I don't know if you can get anymore this is an old Sabeel, um magic swimmer they come in this size and then they come in this size and they just swim perfect they also come in a plastic one which was even better and you could make this weedless this is really old school kind of stuff but really it isn't about the name brand it's about what the bait does it's that jointed bait that's the key here I want to have a jointed bait that runs fast has lots of action and you can it'll catch you fish now the glide baits are a little bit different they're gonna really be methodical back and forth and back and forth but that action also catches fish that slowing that slowing moving bait that just looks completely wounded on top of the water gets bass to come after them a glide bait is wonderful this time of year a wonderful time of it you don't have to spend hankle money on those baits you can buy some very good inexpensive glide baits uh, from like Thunderhawk Lures or I got one from Molex just recently or Jackal has some 
fairly inexpensive ones too that really do good work though not only do they look good in the in the water they really really catch fish you know it's great if you can afford that henkel and those other big baits because they're really on another level of how they sink and really the action of the bait but i'm not spending five six seven a thousand dollars on a fishing lure i i can't do it but if you can hats off to you I, i'm i'm jealous of your success but a big jointed either glide bait or swim bait is really key right now in fact if you really want to go through it you could get a good big paddle tail lure and that's going to get do work too a line through paddle uh, tail lure is really going to be successful now too so there there you have it three baits i think you should be using in the month of october thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button make sure you comment below and tell me what you think tell me what three lures are successful to you if you're if you're catching fish and you want me to throw your your picture on here please send me an email with your picture i'd love to have i'd love to see what y'all are catching and also give you guys some props for watching the channel and giving me permission to use your photos. So remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.